pranams at the lotus feet of acharyas of shri kanchi kamakoti bidam very good morning to one and all present here this is ab shahin from shri chandrasekhar saraswati vishwa mahavidyalaya kanchipuram i welcome you all to the webinar organized by onad bharat abhiyan cell with the purpose of creating awareness on the national education policy 2020 our university is established in the year 1993 with the benign blessings of their holiness pooja shri jayendra saraswati swami ji and pooja shri shankara vijayendra saraswati swami ji at kanchipuram The university has a unique focus of integrating traditional knowledge with modern scientific practices with a global outlook. The university offers undergraduate, postgraduate and research programs in various disciplines such as Sanskrit, Engineering, Ayurveda, Arts, Humanities, Science, Management and Commerce. I request Anvita to continue. Pranams at the Lotus Feet of Acharyas of Sri Kanchikamakoti Peetam. Very good morning to one and all present here. This G. Anvita from Sri Chandrasekharendra Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyala Kanchipuram. I welcome you all to the webinar organized by Unnat Bharat Abhyansal with the purpose of creating awareness on National Education Policy 2020. Deepam Jyoti Parah Brahma, Deepam Jyoti Janardana, Deepam Me Haram Papam, Deepam Jyoti Namostute, Mangal Deepam is an integral part of offering puja or prayer to the Almighty. Mangal Deeparadana is performed to embark the start of an auspicious event to spread divinity all around. This invokes pure and positive vibrations among us. So now let us begin this webinar with the Mangal Deepam. The Unnat Bharat Abhiyan is a flagship program of the MHRD Government of India. Its mission is to enable higher educational institutions to work with the people of rural India in identifying developmental challenges and evolving appropriate solutions for accelerating sustainable growth. We are proud to say that under the guidelines of UBA, our university has adopted five villages. They are Enatur, Vayavur, Punjay Arasan Tangal, Vedal and Govindawadi in the year 2018 Under UBA our university actively engaged in various activities and organized various programs to create awareness about 100% voting water management rainwater harvesting one student one tree program Swachhata Hai Seva campaign which was inaugurated by our honorable governor Banwarilal Purohit As part of UBA activity, Dr. Mahendranath Pandey, our Union Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, distributed tree saplings to the students of our university and to the adopted villages on 22nd December 2019. We also organized student solar ambassador workshop and distributed solar lamp to the schools of the adopted villages. அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நான் ஜெயந்தி ஸ்ரீ சந்திரசேகரேந்திர சரஸ்வதி விஸ்வ மகா வித்யாலயா நிகர்நிலை பல்கலைக்கழகத்தின் யூபிஏ அதாவது உன்னத் பாரத் அபியான் திட்டத்தின் தன்னார்வலாக உள்ளேன் இந்த திட்டத்தின் கீழ் ஏனாத்தூர் கோவிந்தவாடி புஞ்சை ரசன் தாங்கல் வேடல் வையாவூர் ஆகிய ஐந்து கிராமங்களை தத்தெடுத்துள்ளது யூபிஏ அப்படின்னா என்னென்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்த திட்டம் வந்து உயர்கல்வி நிறுவனங்களை குறைந்தபட்சம் ஐந்து கிராமங்களை இணைப்பதை நோக்கமாக கொண்டிருக்கு இதன் மூலமாக இந்த கிராம சமூகங்களின் அறிவு தளத்தை பயன்படுத்தி பொருளாதாரம் மற்றும் சமூக மேம்பாட்டிற்கு அவங்களால் பங்களிக்க முடியும் உன்னத் பாரத் அபியான் திட்டத்தின்படி தத்தெடுக்கப்பட்ட கிராமங்களில் வாக்காளர் விழிப்புணர்வு திட்டம் ஒரு ஒரு வீடு மூலமாக நடத்தக்கூடிய கணக்கெடுப்பு முகாம் ஜல் சக்தி அபியான் என்ற மழைநீர் சேகரிப்பு பற்றிய விழிப்புணர்வு மரம் நடுதல் பற்றிய விழிப்புணர்வு பிளாஸ்டிக் ஒழிப்பு பற்றிய பிரச்சாரம் ஒரு மாணவர் ஒரு மரம் திட்டம் 
சோலார் அம்பாஸ்டர் திட்டம் கிராம அபிவிருத்திக்கான ஒத்துழைப்பு பணிகளுக்காக முருகப்ப செட்டியார் ஆராய்ச்சி நிறுவனம் உடன் கலந்துரையாடல் தத்தெடுக்கப்பட்ட கிராம பள்ளிகளில் சூரிய விளக்கு விநியோகம் தத்தெடுக்கப்பட்ட கிராமத்தில் கிராம சபை கூட்டத்தில் யூபிஐ தன்னார்வலர்கள் பங்கேற்பு போன்ற திட்டங்களை நமது பல்கலைக்கழகம் மூலம் செயல்படுத்தப்பட்டது அடுத்ததாக நேஷனல் எஜுகேஷன் பாலிசி ரெண்டாயிரத்தி அதாவது தேசிய கல்விக் கொள்கை இந்த தேசிய கல்விக் கொள்கையானது மத்திய அரசால் வெளியிடப்பட்டு நாடு முழுவதும் பின்பற்றப்பட உள்ளது இதன் சிறப்பம்சங்களை தத்தெடுக்கப்பட்ட கிராமங்களில் உள்ள ஆசிரியர்கள் மற்றும் மாணவர்களிடம் கொண்டு சேர்ப்பது மற்றும் விழிப்புணர்வு ஏற்படுத்துவதற்காக இன்று நடைபெற உள்ள இந்த கருத்தரங்கிற்காக கூடியுள்ளோம் Recently, a national level webinar was organized for the volunteers of UBA on awareness of national education policy. It was addressed by various union ministers of India. In continuation with that, the UBA cell of SESVMV, Sri Chandra Sekhar Indra Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyalaya, is conducting this webinar for the benefit of educators, students, parents and other stakeholders in the educational system, especially in rural Tamil Nadu. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you the resource person of today's webinar our honorable vice chancellor professor dr s v raghavan sir sir was a professor of computer science and engineering in iit madras sir was the chairman in the house team in government of tamil nadu and he provided strategic and technological directions in their endeavor to transform into a digital tamil nadu Sir played a key role in defining the cyber security architecture for India as the scientific secretary to the government of India. Sir designed India's national knowledge network as a critical information infrastructure and oversaw its implementation. Sir is a visiting professor in University of Maryland, College Park, University of California, University of Buffalo, New York, University of Vienna. Austria University of Action Germany Sir has been the chief editor of CSI Transactions on ICT an international journal published by Springer Professor Dr S V Raghavan has been conferred doctorates from several universities across the globe and is a recipient of Silver Core Award of International Federation for Information Processing IFIP Geneva in 1996 on behalf of the organizing team we request professor the resource person dr s v raghavan sir to deliver the keynote address hello everyone dear friends i am happy to be addressing you in the uba function as a part of our uh, university and deliver this keynote mainly on new education policy 2020 which is announced by government of india through their ministry of education the best part about this policy is the vision that the policy has for the country as a whole and uh, for the first time i see something in education which is taking a holistic view so here is a document which is visionary in character which has a holistic view of things and also talks about end to end that is from a very small age childhood to very advanced age like higher education in university how do things pan, pan out is what is covered in that policy document it's a near impossible task for somebody but dr kasturi rangan former chairman of isro has done a wonderful job as always in drafting this uh, policy document for the benefit of every citizen of india let me start by saying how relevant is this policy to our institution sri chandrashekar indra saraswati vishwa mahavidyalaya we are into holistic and multidisciplinary education and we aim to develop all capacities of human beings 
that's in our charter when we say all capacities it refers to intellectual aesthetic social physical emotional and moral and all that in an integrated manner that's what we actually do and this holistic education we infuse into undergraduate programs professional programs technical programs vocational programs and also this medical program avoid ayurveda since we also have engineering in our institution scsbmb we look at this as a mul- opportunity to do multidisciplinary education with more arts and humanities included into engineering education students of arts and humanities aim to learn more science and also the engineering students try to learn more arts and humanities what happens as a result is that the imaginative and flexible curricular structure makes the student very creative and the combination of disciplines for study offer multiple creative efforts by the students themselves we will see how this policy encourages and uh, what it expects out of the institution and the people who make the institution namely the faculty of course they expect the students to be the ultimate learners and architects of tomorrow when you look at it more closely it promotes some of the basic values of uh, the constitution like intellectual curiosity scientific temper creativity spirit of service and 21st century capabilities across a range of disciplines that span sciences social sciences arts humanities languages as well as professional technical and vocational education as you could see a very large spectrum has been covered very well in the proposed uh, policy ours is perhaps the only institution which has languages arts culture tradition science including mathematics engineering and ayurveda which is an indian traditional medicinal system and occasional subjects such as shilp shastra being an education which is institution which is uh, all inclusive and having all these types of disciplines one would naturally expect that the traditional knowledge that's available the indian traditional knowledge system which is expounded very sufficiently in the palm leaves that are there in our library which is the largest in the country we will be able to produce much of the multidisciplinary character that is expected in the policy the imaginative and flexible curricular structures that we follow to enable the creative combination of disciplines is appen is uh, augmented by the multiple entry multiple exit character of the new policy in fact our departments of language literature music philosophy indology art dance theater education mathematics statistics pure and applied sciences sociology economics sports translation in relation etc will have to be strengthened as we are a higher educational institution we have to either make them independently grow or collectively grow in our environment which is the scsvmv or sri chandrashekarendra saraswati vishwa mahavidyalaya as a deemed university the fantastic freedom that is given the academic freedom that is given 
in making all these happen is perhaps the hallmark of the new policy. As we are already running on a credit based system, it will be easy for us to expand and innovate the curricula of our institution as a higher education institution. While it does talk about the three year and four year duration in the undergraduate programs, we can even provide multiple integrated facilities such as a BCom that leads to become honors and that also enables and prepares a person for professional qualifications such as chartered accountancy, cost accountancy, company secretary and so on. Any bachelor's education program that we have can be tailored towards producing candidates for the Indian Administrative Service or Indian Foreign Service or Indian Police Service and so on. It's quite possible and it's quite flexible in terms of providing for innovation. One can also think in terms of the curricular structure and the course plan layout such that the four-year multidisciplinary bachelor's program can be brought in as is deemed necessary by the market forces. By market forces what I mean is that the contemporary requirements in the creative industry around us in the area where we operate and also the region in which we operate, the nation in which we operate and of course globally. The idea of banking credits of our academic nature and then coming back and doing something both offline and online and then moving towards a degree is a very very innovative idea that is there in the policy. If I were a student today I would like to do some studies in the beginning and experiment my hand with my hands in the industry that is of interest to me go there and then see what is to be learned actually and then come back to the academic environment, continue my studies and finish the two or three more years that is required to be done and collect as many degrees as I want as I qualify in the academic bank of credit. This was not available hitherto because we were all in a straight jacketed siloed situation. Now that is a great relief for a student who wants to be experimenting with what one wants to do in life. This is going to be a great liberator for uh, India. Another interesting model that is laid out in this is an ability for a higher educational institution to evolve as multidisciplinary education and research university, which is actually what is required in the world today. Because the, when you reach the global standards and quality in education, you are actually not a simple mechanical engineer or an electronic engineer, but a combination of the two who understand the systems and their behavior and the ability to control the system. This complete understanding of science and engineering is very important. And if you look at palm leaves and the traditional literature that is available from thousands of years ago, you will get ideas as to what are the new gadgets that you can design and manufacture under the Meru program. Meru program is perhaps one of the best things that have happened in the new policy for universities such as Sri Chandrasekhar Indra Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyalaya or SESVMV in short. We can now focus on research and innovation by setting up startup incubation centers, technology development centers, centers in frontier areas of research, greater industry academic linkages, and interdisciplinary research, including humanities and social sciences research. Hitherto considered silos and impossible interactions are now becoming possible and natural. Of course, a strong body and a strong mind go together in making a student and maintaining his interest in the classroom as well as outside the classroom. Learning takes place both inside the classroom where lectures are delivered and also in the library also through peer interaction but also in the playground where sports 
really tells you how the physics that you learn in the classroom is actually applied when you are doing a marathon preparation for a marathon running. So the students activity and participation in all parts with themselves as a subject and also imagining and reimagining the subjects that are taught in the classroom is going to be an important factor. Of course, these things would not be possible if you do not have motivated, energized and capable faculty. Other than the basic infrastructure and facilities like uh, clean drinking water, clean working toilets, blackboards, offices, teaching supplies, libraries, labs and pleasant classroom spaces and campuses, people should have excellent faculty who are a pleasure to talk to and interact and learn from. And the faculty will have the freedom to design their own curricular and pedagogical approaches within the approved framework of the academia inside the university. The policy clearly defines independent and transparent processes and criteria for faculty development as well. India is going through a transition from standalone universities that were there in the past to multidisciplinary higher educational institutions as the future. So we will have, especially in SCS VMV, integration of arts, languages, tradition, culture, science, engineering and medicine. We have a special department which concentrates on Ayurvedic education and prepares people at the bachelor's and master's level in Ayurveda. Now you have a chance to integrate the Ayurvedic system with the Sanskrit system and the engineering system it's a coupled by scientific analysis and the computer science people providing big data analytics. There emerges a new interdisciplinary area which is uh, unimaginable and it provides opportunities for years to come for the students and faculty and researchers of SCSVMV in a measure that's only to be felt as time progresses. We can take a lead as uh, Sri Chandrasekhar in the Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyalaya in preparing professionals in cutting edge areas that are fast gaining prominence such as AI, artificial intelligence, 3D machining, big data analysis, machine learning and also genomic studies, biotechnology, nanotechnology, neuroscience with important applications to health, environment and sustainable living that will be woven into our undergraduate education, postgraduate education and all the research work that we conduct. The reason why SESVMB will be able to do a significant contribution in this area is because it's perhaps the only university which has all the traditional subjects such as languages, arts and culture as well as science, all branches, as well as the engineering, all branches and medicine, the two an Indian traditional medicine called Ayurveda. Bringing them together is going to be the real winner and a unique selling proposition or USP for SCSVMV. In order to promote Indian languages, arts and culture, we have a Sanskrit department <coughs> which has to be strengthened significantly to provide not just the traditional knowledge but also to call out from the ancient manuscripts which are mostly in the palm leaves all the scientific information that is available so that scientists can verify and produce documentation and also supporting evidence on what has been said early on. The foresight of uh, all those rishis who have written all this have to be interpreted in the modern context and presented 
which the Sanskrit department will be eminently suitable to do along with the science departments, engineering departments and Ayurveda. On the whole, the new education policy 2020 seems to be a game changer of a very unique variety, not just for uh, our institution, for, but for the country as a whole. Being an academic for several decades now, I see a great possibility that NEP 2020 will impact the future, especially the future students and their preparation to face life and their preparation to define what life is, what it means to them and their ability to define their creative space as well as comfortable, meaningful and adequately provided for living space as well. It has been a pleasure talking to all of you and sharing with you my thoughts on the new education policy 2020. Even though I concentrated mostly on the NEP 2020 in the context of our university, which is Sri Chandrasekhar and the Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyalaya or SESVMB in short, I am sure most of what I said is relevant to many institutions which are trying to grow in different dimensions. And I hope and pray that the guiding spirit of our institution, the Shankaracharya, will be blessing us for the multidimensional growth to use the opportunities presented by the new policy, the NEP 2020. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir, for your insightful address. Now I request Shivi Santanam. Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, to give us the concluding remarks. That was an enlightening experience, sir, in listening to you. Dear participants, the reason for coming to you through this webinar is the central government and we strongly believe that the true dimensions of the National Education Policy 2020 can reach the masses in its true form only through the students help your near and dear to understand the NEP 2020 thoroughly. If this dissemination continues, the whole nation can realize the new vistas to be opened by the NEP 2020. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now request Dr. V. Raghavendran, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, to deliver the board of thanks. My greetings to every one of you. First of all, I take this opportunity to thank the National Coordinating Institute of UBA IIT Delhi for facilitating effective measures and smooth running of the UBA program in our campus. I express my sincere gratitude to Prof. Virendra Kumar Vijay, National Coordinator Unnath Bharat Abhyan IIT Delhi for his constant support and guidance. Thank you, sir. Next, I sincerely thank the university authorities for granting permission to organize this webinar in order to create awareness on national education policy for the stakeholders of the education system as a part of Unnath Bharat Abhyan unit of our Mahavidyalaya. Thank you, sirs. My sincere thanks to our respected registrar, sir, finance officer and uh, all the deans of various faculties for their support and guidance. I express my sincere gratitude to the speaker of the session, our Honorable Vice-Chancellor, Prof. Dr. S. V. Raghavan, sir. Besides his busy schedule, he accepted our invitation to deliver the keynote address in today's webinar. Thank you, sir. I thank Prof. Dr. K. Venkatramanan, UBA Coordinator of our Mahavidyalaya, for his tireless efforts in organizing this program in a grand manner. Thank you, sir. I thank our university's entire IT team for rendering the entire support for the smooth conduction of this program. 
Our special thanks to Dr. Vasant Kumar Mehta of CSA Department and our alumni Mr. Arunachalam for their help extended in organizing this program in a grand manner. I thank our UBA staff coordinators and student volunteers for their efforts and timely help in organizing this program in an effective manner and taking UBA activities and information reach the stakeholders of the adopted villages. My gratitude to you for all you have done. Finally, I appreciate and thank all the participants, teachers, students and parents for spending your valuable time in attending this webinar. You made us feel delighted with your overwhelming response and we hope sure that you will take this message to the society for their well-being. Thank you one and all. Thank you very much. Sri Chandrasekharendra Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyalaya is located at the temple town of Kanchipuram. The university campus is located 60 kilometers from the Chennai airport and 100 kilometers from Tirupati in Andhra Pradesh. The university strongly believes that nothing is as powerful as an informed mind and no quest is greater than a quest for knowledge. There are an array of graduate postgraduate and research programs including a PhD program for the students to choose from. The scholastic atmosphere at SCSV MV Sri Chandrasekharendra Saraswati Vishwa Mahavidyalaya is enriched by our learned teachers from India and abroad. Experience the atmosphere where Gyan and Vigyan coexist. One of the highlights of SCSV MV is its cutting-edge curriculum powered by exceptional resources and unparalleled teaching staff.
Our curriculum is aligned with university objectives with inputs from industry. The Faculty of Engineering, with its gamut of courses, offers the students global certification programs with dynamic syllabus upgrades. The Faculty of Engineering has industry certified labs, and the highly qualified faculty place equal emphasis on the theoretical and practical aspects of engineering. My department has excellent faculty members. They help in engaging the students in various projects as well as in designing the career of the students. I can say that my department provides a lot of internship opportunities and it keeps that the students are always updated with technology. The engineering department has excelled in its infrastructural facilities, keeping pace with the latest developments in technology. The mission of the Faculty of Engineering is to provide opportunities to the students to become globally competent. The students are also provided an excellent ambience to help them in designing, building and operating intelligent industrial products. The students are given various opportunities like workshops and industrial visits every semester to gain a deeper knowledge on the subject. The faculties also encourage the students to work on their projects and research. The interaction between the staff and the student is very engaging and friendly. The facilities available for the students ensures they get comprehensive practical training and also gives them authentic workspace exposure. The goal of the department is to educate students and transform them with appropriate knowledge, skill and understanding. Minor City gave me consistent placement training and I am so happy that I am placed in the core company. My civil engineering department has theoretical knowledge and equal practical knowledge. The Faculty of Science lays a strong emphasis on hands-on training for the students since the university believes that practical application of knowledge is more important than mere learning of concepts. The department has a spacious laboratory equipped with multiple systems and all the latest software. With a strong academic and research background, you will be able to position yourself uniquely at this university. The Faculty of Science aims to ignite and steer young minds in the direction of quality academics and professional research through a versatile curriculum and innovative teaching. Faculty of, Faculty of Management Studies is celebrating its 25th year and a lot of students of this department have been placed in organizations of repute both nationally and internationally. The Faculty of Management and Human Resource and Commerce was established with a vision to produce quality business administration professionals. As part of the development activities, the university organizes regular seminars and workshops that are attended by stalwarts from Indian and foreign industries. The world sees management graduates as best managers, but our university sees them as people aligned with mind, body and atma. Consistent industry visit in the form of guest lecturers are well organized. Constant support and guidance helps us to learn new things in shaping our personalities. The Department of Education started the B.Ed. M.Phil programs to produce competent secondary school teachers to serve in various secondary schools of the nation with commitment and dedication. The very purpose of establishing the institute is to produce committed, competent and performing teachers who can fulfill the needs of the country in the 21st century. The Department of Sanskrit and Indian Culture is unique to SCSV MV. Students are taught Sanskrit language irrespective of the course they have chosen. The department also has an undergrad and postgrad program. The department has the required equipment for digitization of ancient manuscripts and for conducting excavation works leading to new archaeological evidences. To understand the greatness of India and the traditional knowledge that exists in India, the understanding of Sanskrit language is highly important even in this modern age. In our university, we are teaching Sanskrit and Indian culture to all programs. That is the unique aspect of this university. The main objective of this course is to develop the individual personality and social development. Ancient technology with modern applications. 
Another USP of SESV MV is the Department of Ayurveda. Sri Jayendra Saraswati Ayurveda College and Hospital, located at Poonamalli and part of the university, offers Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery and PG, PhD in Ayurveda courses. As part of teaching, we have a hospital attached to the university with 156 beds which attracts patients from throughout Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and even distant places like Delhi through word of mouth. We have a huge herb garden in the campus filled with many rare herbs. The size of the garden is about 5 acres. Every student who studies here gets to understand the importance of each of these herbs, their use, their characteristics. They are taught how to use the roots, the fruits, the flowers from the garden. We believe education is not just what they read from books, but a practical understanding is what we provide to our students. SCSV MV offers a flexible and comprehensive syllabus with open elective language programs like French, German, Japanese, as well as GATE and GMAT courses. One of the hallmarks of the university is the Central Library, an architectural splendor designed on the lines of temple architecture. Student safety and comfort is of utmost importance to the management of SCSV MV. The university houses six hostels, four for the boys and two for the girl students, along with a medical center, a bank, an ATM within the campus. Hostel Arnangil Polum, Surakshidum, Sugagaro Maya, and the Rikshamani in key campus Lulad. Other going to buy a mila the Padikan Garim. In the French College, compared with Nokubo, you would have Uriba to feed a young kitten under Yanadil Uriba to Sandushan. You know, hostel life is something you don't want to miss in this university. You have ample amount of time to learn, to play, and to enjoy with your friends. The university over the years has had many VIP guests, scholars and international dignitaries visiting the campus and interacting with the students and faculty. SCSV MV strongly believes in the all-round development of an individual and hence places equal emphasis on extracurricular activities. To promote emotional and cultural integration among students, we organize youth festival Tarunyam every year at this university. I am happy to inform that our students have represented the Indian team at the recently held South Asian University's Youth Festival. The university has excellent sports and fitness amenities. A lot of the students are also involved in NSS and other social activities during their time in the university. SESV MV takes great pride in its alumni who are shining bright in their respective careers in India and various parts of the world. Yeah. Here, we give importance not only to regular studies but also value-based education. Our university, Our university is blessed thrice by three seers of Sri Kanchi Kamakoti Peetam. The students here are enriched in many ways, particularly on three aspects – culture, education and character building. Patriotism and Indian culture is imbibed to the students who study here. Come and join us. Come and join us. Explore, enjoy, experience. Be a change agent for your immediate environment. Enrich the lives of others. Empower them with knowledge and health. Encourage them to do more for the society. Enable them through your discoveries. Be a global citizen in thought, word and deed. Come and get transformed by the SCSV MV experience.